we're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode Number 4. This is WWE Main Event, and as the road to Backlash continues, I promise we got an absolutely exciting night of action lined up for you here today on WWE Main Event, including our main event tonight. Former one half of the World Tag Team Champions representing the RK Bro, Matt Riddle, is in action one on one against Chad Gable. It should be an extraordinary wrestling matchup. We're going to kick things off in moments with a Cruiserweight Championship qualifier to see who moves on to the six pack challenge at the Backlash pay per view in a couple of weeks' time. And here comes the master of the 619, legendary Cruiserweight Champion in the past himself, Ray Mysterio. It would be awesome to see Ray once again hold that cruiserweight gold he made so famous around his waist again. Will he do so? But first, he's got to punch his ticket to the matchup itself at Backlash. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. Multiple time Cruiserweight Champion in the past between WCW and the WWE, Rey Mysterio has held that gold many a times before. He's looking to do it once again, but like we mentioned, he doesn't have a first class ticket just yet. He's got to get through Angel Garza here tonight on main event, and that is going to be no easy task, opponent, trust me. Accompanied by Humberto Carrillo from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel Accompanied by his cousin Humberto Carrillo, but there's the three that have qualified thus far for the Cruiserweight Championship match at Backlash. Santos Escobar, Mansoor, and Graham Metalik qualified this past Monday on Raw. Who will be the fourth man out of the six to qualify for Backlash? It'll either be Angel Garza or Rey Mysterio, and then there'll be two more spots to fill as we continue the road to our first Universe Mode pay-per-view. And already so far between the Cruiserweight Championship match announced... The Intercontinental Championship match announced, which will be Sheamus and Shinsuke Nakamura. Also, we knew the WWE Championship will be on the line at Backlash. Bobby Lashley defending against the winner of the number one contenders tournament that's going to continue to progress these next number of weeks on Raw. Backlash is looking to be an extraordinary event thus far, coming up in a couple of weeks' time. As Angel Garza is going to go for the early cover on Ray, where he gets a shoulder up at two. As we mentioned, Rey Mysterio, former Cruiserweight Champion. Angel Garza, former Cruiserweight Champion, in his own right. Back in NXT, so both these men have held gold before. They're looking to do so again. Coming in a couple of weeks' time, and there's Rey Mysterio with the early cover on Garza, but Garza gets the shoulder up. And of course, Humberto Carrillo at ringside, the cousin of Angel Garza. Los Lotharios between the two. A great tag team here in our extraordinary tag team division here in the WWE. But tonight it's about singles action and singles gold. As we mentioned so far, Mysterio will get back to that beautiful springboard moonsault on Angel Garza. It looks like Humberto Carrillo trying to get the attention of Ray, and he does, and Angel Garza capitalizes. Super kick to the back of Ray. We're going to have to stay, stay close and don't blink during this matchup, man. This is going to be an exciting one. Back and forth already, and tons of high-flying action from these two cruiserweights. But as we were mentioning, already qualified, we saw it earlier. Santos Escobar qualified, he was the first one to. Mansoor qualified last week on main event, and then this past Monday on Raw was Grand Metalik picking up the victory, and he is on his way to Backlash. So that is three of the six spots. The next one goes to Garza Array, and then we'll have two more matches over the next few weeks on Raw main event to decide those last few matches, or should be those last few spots. As this match rolls on here, Angel Garza, beautiful super kick to the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, but he doesn't capitalize. Angel Garza needs to pay a little bit more attention, not take Ray so lightly here, as Ray could be looking to dial it up early. Ray Mysterio, 619! Springboard hits the frog splash. Ray's gonna win this thing early. Angel Garza gets the shoulder up at 2.9 and a half. That was so close, man. This is early on. Rey Mysterio caught Angel Garza. 
And I think that's just due to Angel Garza kind of taking this match lightly so far. We've seen him taunt a few times, turn his back to Rey Mysterio, and he almost got caught. Those are the finishing maneuvers of Rey, the 619, followed up by the splash. I think it probably would have put away Angel Garza had we not been so early on in this matchup as Rey goes flying to the outside. You better keep your eye on Humberto Carrillo out there. We're going to get back in, and we're kind of at a stalemate here. Face-to-face -face are these two contenders for the Cruiserweight Championship. Look at that. Beautiful maneuver by Garza. Springboard, double kicks. Angel Garza is in control, and there's a springboard moonsault of his own, counteracting Rey Mysterio's one from earlier. But Garza, that's again, I got to point that out again, because that's another, another time, I believe, that he could have went for a pinfall, and he elected not to. Won't question the strategy of Angel Garza, though. He's like we've mentioned, he's a former Cruiserweight champion in his own right. So he's definitely got a, a way of getting things done in here in the ring. An extraordinary talent is Garza, as well as Humberto Carrillo. Carrillo, excuse me. Whether it's for the Cruiserweight Championship or even for the tag team titles, they're going to be a couple of guys that we're going to keep our eye on very closely here in Universe mode. Garza is in control of this match the last minute or so, but there's Rey Mysterio countering out. Big boot to the face. Kick to the gut. Plants Angel Garza face first. Man, what a match this has been thus far to kick us off on main event. Mysterio! Canadian Destroyer! By Rey Mysterio. Man, these guys are pulling out all the stops, especially right, man. He's going high risk, and he's, it's been high reward so far, man. Rey was smart to land on his feet there. Man, this has been a great matchup thus far. we still got a lot of great action to come here tonight here on Main Event. As we mentioned, it's going to be Chad Gable going one-on-one -on -one with Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle's first time in the ring since him and Randy Orton lost the World Tag Team Championships a couple of weeks ago. As Angel Garza double underhooks Ray and just plants him down into the submission hold here. Will Rey Mysterio give up? Will Angel Garza move on to backlash? Rey Mysterio breaks out. A nice four on there. That was close. Ray springboard again, went for the cross body, but Garza gets out of the way. And they're going to go behind. We've seen these guys try to go for these schoolboys and roll ups a couple of times in this matchup. It's a great way to catch our opponent off guard, and man, that was close. That was almost as close as that 6 1 9 earlier. Who is going to join the fray of Santos Escobar, Grand Metalik, and Mansoor? Of course, this will be the four spot, two more spots to go. Six men on, will compete. At Backlash for the vacant Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Tying things up here, Ray. Going to hook the arm of Angel Garza. Looks like he's going to head up to the top. Beautiful maneuver. Lucha Libre action at its finest. Sends Garza over. Garza's down. Ray's going high risk. Will it be high reward once again? He elects not to, and I think that's due to Angel Garza getting to his feet. You see Rey Mysterio is a little slow playing it there, and it kind of costs him as Angel Garza is back in control. We've seen a lot of back and forth in this matchup, man. A lot of really just throwing everything at each other. We've been seeing that a lot recently. I mean, there's been a lot of high-stakes matches here on Raw and main event the last couple of weeks. Number one contenders being crowned. Championship opportunities on the line. Championships themselves on the line. It's been a great couple of weeks here in the beginning stages of our universe mode. And with Backlash coming up, Things are really heating up, and I cannot wait for the Backlash pay-per-view in a couple of weeks. You guys are going to absolutely love to see the card. When it's all set and done, and Angel Garza once again tried getting Rey Mysterio there, where Rey pushes him off. Both these men, look at this. You see they're starting to get a little tired, throwing everything at each other. Garza's the one to capitalize, though. Nice clothesline. Overhand slap and a big super kick from Angel Garza. Now what's Angel Garza looking to do? I think he might have been scouting Ray for that submission hold again, but Ray countered. And now here's Ray Mysterio. Oh, what do we got here? Tilt to whirl, takes him for a ride. Angel Garza flipping on his back there as Ray's going high risk. He's headed to the top rope. Ray Mysterio, big time splash, but he waited too, waited too long. Absolutely. I don't know what the hold up there was for Ray, but he definitely cost himself as Angel Garza able to move out of the way. And now Garza puts the momentum back in his corner. Man, what a match to kick us off on main event. This has got to be one of the best matches we've had these last few weeks as Angel Garza 
big time splash of his own into the cover on Rey Mysterio. Rey gets the shoulder up barely. Man, if the Cruiserweight Championship, if you weren't sure of the prestige of the Cruiserweight Championship, I should say, these, these qualifying matches the last number of weeks, especially this one, have definitely had to pique your interest and just show you how important holding that Cruiserweight gold is. It has been held by so many legends of our business, including Rey Mysterio, including Eddie Guerrero, a guy that a lot of people compare Angel Garza to, among them, so many other legends like Dean Malenko and Chris Jericho. We can sit here and keep naming him over and over again as Angel Garza puts Rey Mysterio back up into that double arm submission hold. Will Rey give up? Will it be Garza moving on to backlash? Rey maybe, he may be fading here, I don't know. He's struggling to get out of it. Garza's holding on for dear life, but I don't know, Rey Mysterio, will he give up? Angel Garza lets up. I think he saw Rey Mysterio's holding on a little bit too long for his liking. He decided to let up, that may honestly be a smart maneuver. Ray was holding on. Garza might have been losing grip. He doesn't want to waste his own strength just trying to pass out right here. It's honestly pretty smart letting go of that submission hold when he did. Using the mind in the ring against somebody like a veteran in Ray Mysterio's own right. If Garza goes over, Ray's going to head. I don't know. Thinks otherwise. Thinks otherwise. As Angel Garza knocks Ray down with the super kick. Now, which one of these men are going to punch their ticket? Be the fourth man in the Cruiserweight title. Matchup at Backlash. All right, with a suplex. Oh, we know exactly what he's going for. We mentioned Eddie Guerrero a few minutes ago. Ray is going for those classic three amigos paying homage to his old friend, the late great Eddie Guerrero. Three amigos. Garza's down. Ray could be heading up. Will he be looking for a frog splash, maybe, to follow it up? Well, Garza's getting to his feet. Rey Mysterio going to think otherwise. Probably smart here. I can't knock Rey Mysterio. But there he goes. There's Angel Garza again. He keeps going back to the well. But it's not enough. Rey Mysterio is still in this matchup, man. Angel Garza trying to use a surprise factor a couple of times. But Rey is still fighting. Back and forth we go here. It's a teeter-totter as to who's going to pick up the win. Garza's throwing those lariats. And they are doing some damage. You can't say they aren't. As he sends the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio into the ropes. Of course, Humberto Carrillo in the corner of Angel Garza. Dominic Mysterio usually in the corner of his father, Rey. Beautiful maneuver by Rey. But of course, as we mentioned a couple of weeks ago on Raw, Dominic suffered a concussion. He'll be out a number of weeks. He'll most likely be with us after the Backlash pay-per-view. Rey almost had Angel Garza there. Angel back into this. Couple of chops, couple of haymakers. He's got Rey Mysterio. Fireman's carry position, but Rey countered out. Kick to the gut. Rey Mysterio once again looking to head to the top rope. And once again takes over Angel Garza. Rey Mysterio's heading out. Garza's getting to his feet, though. Very nice shot. Angel Garza, though, able to counter. Pele's Ray off the apron. Angel Garza might just be looking for a count out here over Rey Mysterio. Oh yeah, Angel Garza's taking this man to taunt. Catch his breath. He's going to go for the count out, look like. But Ray, he's too wide awake for that. Especially with the opportunity that's on the line there. Nice counter by Ray. Who is going to give it inch, man? This has been back and forth. It's been an awesome matchup. We're going, what, we're going almost 10 minutes at this point between Garza and Ray. As we mentioned, it's all about the prestige of the Cruiserweight Championship. And even when you win this match, you still got the challenge of five other men standing in front of you. It's quite the obstacle come backlash, but the reward, man, the reward will be something else. The Cruiserweight Championship currently vacant. And somebody wants to punch their name as the new Cruiserweight Champion. As Rey Mysterio is back in control, Garza may be laid out. The stereo frog splash, but Angel Garza got the knees up. Big time counter from Garza. He's going to go. Roll up submission again, or excuse me, pitfall again. Oh, Rey Mysterio got the shoulder up. I don't know how these guys are still in this, man. I don't know how. Oh, wait a minute. Angel Garza's putting the feet on the ropes. Oh, and Rey got the shoulder up. Rey was, or excuse me, Garza was trying to go for a little bit of a leverage on that pinfall there. 
At this point, he's trying to throw anything possible. He's got Royale. Garza's to the top rope. Goes for the splash, and he hits it. That's got to do it. Angel Garza's going to be on his way to backlash. No! Rey Mysterio gets the shoulder up. What a freaking match, man. These guys are throwing everything at each other. As Garza goes for the super kick, he's gone a few times. Rey Mysterio's had a count it, a scout it, excuse me. Course screws the leg. Gors is down. Rey goes to the top rope. Mysterio nails the frog splash. Into the cover. It's two. Rey Mysterio picks up the victory. Off the frog splash. Rey Mysterio, after an incredible matchup, is able to get the victory over Angel Garza. What a match. Angel Garza, wait a minute. We got a little stare down here. All right, extending the hand to Garza. A sign of respect even after Angel tried breaking the rules a couple times. And Angel obliges. You love to see it after such a competitive matchup. But Rey Mysterio punches his ticket. There you see the updated graphic. Four men have qualified for Backlash. Santos, Mansoor, Metalik, and Mysterio. Two more spots to go for the Cruiserweight Championship. All right, let's get set for our next contest here on WWE Main Event. It's a little bit of women's division action. And here comes a former champion in her own right. Bailey. This is going to be a good one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bailey. As Bailey makes her way to the ring, we got to remind you of that epic matchup that we had this past Monday Night on Raw. It was women's champion Bianca Belair taking on Shotzi. One-on-one, -on -one, non-championship matchup. And man, what a match it was. Shotzi really put up a competitive fight. If you missed out, definitely go check out that Bianca versus Shotzi matchup from this past Raw. But here we have Bailey, which is getting set for one-on-one -on -one action here on Main Event. And it's a very interesting situation right now in the women's division. Everybody looking to cl climb the ranks and be the next number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship and Bianca Belair, especially with the Backlash pay-per-view coming up in a couple of weeks and Bianca yet to have a challenger for that event. But here comes Bailey's opponent. She's going one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever versus Candice Lorray. This is going to be an exciting matchup here on WWE Main Event. First time meeting between these two women. And from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. Imagine if Candice LeRae can pull off the win here. What a win that would be for Candice defeating a former SmackDown and Raw and WWE Women's Tag Team Champion and of course NXT Women's Champion in her own right, Bailey. She's had a great career. Definitely accomplished a lot, has Bailey. It'll be a huge win if Candice can get the upset here over a former championship caliber opponent. But here we go with this matchup on WWE main event. It's been an awesome night thus far. We just opened things with a absolutely incredible matchup between Rey Mysterio and Angel Garza. And still to come, our main event following this. Matt Riddle one-on-one -on -one with Chad Gable. Should be a great wrestling contest. As the road to Backlash moves on, we continue with Bailey versus Candice LeRae. And as we just mentioned, women's champion Bianca Belair will be defending the championship on pay-per-view. But she has to have a challenger. So with every women's match we see, definitely everybody trying to punch their, punch their ticket, I should say. Get their name in the hat to potentially fight Bianca Belair for the women's championship on pay-per-view in a couple of weeks. She will become the number one contender. This may not be a official number one contenders matchup, but the wins, the losses, they all matter. So you definitely want to get a W when you're inside the ring. And definitely whoever picks up the win here will certainly be in management sight. To possibly be the one to fight Bianca on pay-per-view. Bailey is in control of this matchup thus far. Sends Candice into the corner and then drops a couple of knees right on the lower back. She went to the well a third time. Maybe too many times as Candice is able to roll out momentarily, but Bailey stays in control over Candice LeRae. Stomp it away on Candice. Bit of a mean streak from Bailey. 
She did team up with Sasha Banks a couple of weeks ago in Raw. They did get the tag team victory. So Bailey already with a win under her belt. This, or I should say, recently. She sends Candace into the ropes. Candace able to block the clothesline though. Bailey's still in control of this matchup. But there's Candace coming back. And again, we already mentioned how big of a win it would be for Candice LeRae. I think she could upset Bailey here. She could be going to try to put things away early. Moonsault! Picture perfect from the top rope by Candice LeRae into the cover. But Bailey's able to get the shoulder up at two. It may be an upset if she picks up this win, but let's not act like if Bailey wins, it's going to be some easy victory. You know, Candice LeRae, she's a, a tough SOB. She's been around the block. She's a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. If Bailey wins here. It'll definitely be a hard fought win, as it will be for Candice. As Candice LeRae is in control of this matchup now after a few minutes of Bailey dominating. She's looking to go for yet another submission hold here. She ties up the legs. Look at this, stretches the arms back and face plants Bailey into the mat below. Great maneuver, definitely impactful, but Bailey right there, man. Big time counter. That's the mean streak of Bailey coming into play. Goes for the clothesline. Candace counters into a Huracan Rana. Bailey is, always went head first with that turnbuckle, man. We're going back and forth here. This is this has already been a really exciting matchup. Between these two women, man, this, this main event episode might go down as the best we've seen from Universe Mode thus far. And it's again, look at this. You know, it's interesting because Bailey's been working on the lower back a little bit in this matchup, and now Candace kind of is as well. The stalemate here. Face to face go these two women. Candace dropped toe hold. Look at this. And another submission hold. She's going for a would say the Gargano escape. I guess you could call it the Candace escape here. Will Bailey give up? No, she does not. Look at that. Oh, pulls the hair. Knee to the back of the head and a punch from Bailey right to the forehead. It's absolutely ruthless getting out of that submission hold. A nice maneuver. Man, I can't wait for that Matt Riddle Chad Gable matchup, man. Coming up momentarily after this one. Matt Riddle's first appearance in the ring since him and Randy Orton lost the wall tag team titles earlier. A couple of weeks ago on main event. which should be on Monday Night Raw. Chad Gable's first appearance here. It's going to be a great matchup, man. I'm looking forward to it. As Candice LeRae once again, her Rana sends Bailey halfway across the ring. And a nice swinging neck breaker. Rick Rude style on Candice LeRae. You gotta imagine that women's champion Bianca Blair has got her eyes keen on this matchup, man. Women's division very competitive right now. We saw that out of Shotzi this past Monday Night on Raw. I hope we get a rematch between Shotzi and Bianca in the future, man. They tore down the house. It was awesome. We gotta see another one between those two very soon. But as we mentioned, man, Bianca yet to have a challenger. Hell, she is the champion. She should, she should and could have input on who her next challenger is. And wins, is, wins and losses matter here, so every win is going to put you in contention for a championship. Oh, my God. Down goes Canvas. That might do it. I should, I should say Candice. She went face first into the Canvas. Excuse me. Might have been a knockout blow, but able to get the shoulder up a two. Would have been Bailey's best move up to try to put Candice LeRae there. Away, Candice LeRae. Bailey's, look at this, going to the top rope. Could be looking for a little macho man elbow, but Candice LeRae rolled out of the way. And here's Candice with a drop kick. After a couple of impactful moves from Bailey, Candice able to get herself a breather. Will she be able to put away a former champion in her own right? A decorated champion is Bailey so far in her career. Candice once again ties up the legs. Going to look to face plant Bailey just like Bailey did to her a few moments ago. Candace springboard, crossbody to the back. Candace knowing to take it to the air just a little bit as she locks Bailey once again in the submission hold. Bailey stretching out. Will this be it? If she taps, this is going to be such an upset, you got to imagine. But Bailey once again, she's breaking it up. She's breaking it up, and there's a knee to the back of the head again. Neither one of these women wanted to give an inch here. 
What a matchup this has been as Bailey throws Candice over the top rope and looks like she's going to take a breather. And as Candice LeRae is going to try and make her way back into the ring, Bailey's got to take a moment to compose herself after that flurry of offense from her challenger. We're back to a stalemate here as Candace, look at that, Bailey tried throwing the left hand, dropped toe hold, she locks Bailey in the submission again just like that. Bailey might be all, that might be all that she got to tap out. Bailey's holding on, Candace is wrenching, wrenching it in, but Bailey trying to struggle out again, and there she is, she's barely able to get out of it. Candace is really trying to tap out Bailey here. It's some of her best offense, so you can't blame her. As she hits Bailey with the neck breaker again. And those neck breakers. Look at that little blockbuster neck breaker there. These are all going to pay dividends if Candace goes for those submission holds that she keeps obliging to. And just this is as well. Once again sends Bailey face first into the canvas below. And she's scouting Bailey here. The former champion may be in trouble. There's the drop toe hold again. Candace in the submission hold. Candace escape. She's wrenching it in. I don't think Bailey's going to be able to get out of it. She taps out. What a upset. Candice LeRae, she went to the well, but she knew what worked. Bailey got out of it a few times, but in the end, Candice, after doing the damage with moves like that, face planting Bailey. She worked on the neck. She worked on the head. She stretched out Bailey multiple times with that submission hold. And in the end, again, a huge upset. Bailey tapping out to Candice LeRae. Great matchup here and a huge win for Candice. And Candice definitely putting her name in the hat. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae. As a potential future challenger for WWE Women's Champion Bianca Blair. That was a great matchup, man. Candice gets a huge win over Bailey here tonight on Main Event. Well, coming up on your next episode of Universe Mode Raw, the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship continues. Jeff Hardy goes one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest for the first time ever. That is going to be a great matchup. And then in the main event of the next episode of Raw, number one contenders tournament action. Mustafa Ali looking to get his career back on track against the Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins. Two number one contenders tournament matchups from the first round coming up this next episode of Monday. Night Raw. But it's time for your main event. Let's get down to the ring as here comes Chad Gable. Gable versus Matt Riddle. This is going to be a great wrestling contest. The contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 202 pounds. Chad Gable. Chad Gable looking to capitalizing some opportunity here. He's going alone, entering the singles action again outside of a tag team. Of course, Chad Gable would love to maybe get himself a championship opportunity in the future. He does qualify as a Cruiserweight, so he could have the Cruiserweight Championship in mind after Backlash, or he could even have the Intercontinental Championship in his hindsight later on. But here comes the original bro, representing RK bro, Matt Riddle. This is going to be a good one. Wrestling at its finest here on Main Event. I'm pumped up for this. And his opponent, accompanied by the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. Riddle. Matt Riddle and Randy Orton a couple of weeks ago on Raw lost their WWE World Tag Team Championships to Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. We yet to know if they will get a rematch for those titles. I'm sure they would love to go it once again with Eric and Ivar in that ring. But as for tonight, Riddle's got to focus on singles action. He was the one who took the pinfall in that tag team matchup a couple weeks ago on Raw. I'm sure he's feeling the effects. I'm sure he feels bad for himself and Randy Orton for losing the World Tag Team Championship in what was a great tag team matchup. But as we mentioned, he's got to focus on singles action tonight. Randy Orton accompanying his tag team partner Riddle out here. As Riddle's got himself a tough task in Chad Gable. It's definitely a big opportunity for Chad Gable again to kind of get himself in the limelight. 
for some possible singles championship opportunities in the future. Whether that be the Cruiserweight Championship after a champion is crowned after Backlash or big time clothesline for Gable. Or even the Intercontinental Championship. We already mentioned earlier, we found out last week on main event, Sheamus will be the next challenger for Shinsuke Nakamura's Intercontinental title, but whoever wins that is going to need challengers post-Backlash. And Chad Gable could be looking to punch his ticket for that. As Gable, look at that, hooks the leg into a pinfall off that suplex, but Riddle gets the shoulder up. You know, it was a very physical tag team matchup when RK Bro meant the Viking Raiders a couple of weeks ago. Chad Gable, a la Kurt Angle there, with that just released German suplex, sending Riddle flying. But as we were mentioning, it was a physical tag team matchup when RK Bro meant the Viking Raiders on Raw a couple of weeks ago. He's had some time to rest, but you gotta imagine Riddle may still be feeling the effects. The physical pain for that matchup, as well as the the mental stress of losing the tag team titles, especially with it being on him, that he was the one pinned in that matchup. This could be a, a win here to help Riddle and Orton get back on track, just get some momentum back in their corner as things get taken to the outside here as Gable's going to look to ground and pound on Riddle. It's one thing you got to give Chad Gable, man. He can work a lot of styles in that ring. He can hit you with the ground and pound and really beat you up. He can out-wrestle you. He's fast. He's got the submissions in his playbook as well. So let me mention, man, a very versatile competitor is Chad Gable. Nice belly-to-belly -belly suplex there. The absolute strength from Gable. As Gable's going to head to the top rope. As we mentioned, Gable does qualify as a cruiserweight. He can take it to the, take it to the air. Elected it against it there as Will's back to his feet. But there you go. Look, Chad Gable staying in control of this matchup. He's really controlled this match on the bell. Nice Chad. And then going back to that ground and pound. Randy Orton is at ringside. You know, he's got to be hoping Matt Riddle pulls up the win here. It's like we mentioned, a win for Riddle. Kind of projects big time, big time splash from Chad Gable. I had to cut myself off there because this might do it. But Riddle gets the shoulder up. As we mentioned, a win for Riddle kind of projects some momentum into the corner of both Riddle and Randy Orton. So a win here could definitely help RK Bro get things going for them once again and could possibly build some momentum if they're looking to get another shot at the tag team titles. Riddle was going to try to build some momentum there, but Chad Gable just cuts him off. And Gable has been in control heavy in this contest as once again he hooks the leg off that suplex. Riddle could be in trouble when he gets the shoulder up. An impressive outing from Chad Gable. Chad Gable definitely making a statement here in this matchup. If he can pick up the victory over Riddle, this will be a huge win. I don't want to call it an upset because Gable's such an incredible talent, but I mean, when you compare the two, Riddle's obviously had a bit more success. I think it definitely might be an upset if Gable picks up the win. And the way he's controlling this matchup, it looks like he's definitely on his way to doing so. Riddle's going to roll to the outside, take a breather, and Randy Orton's got to be hoping Riddle can get back into this matchup, man. A loss for Riddle's going to put some bad mojo in the corner of both of them. And Gable! I mean, it's been all Chad Gable in this matchup. Riddle's showing very small signs of life, but Chad Gable's just owning Riddle from the get-go here. As Chad Gable gets back in the ring. He's met with a big kick from Riddle. And that could be what Matt Riddle needs to get back into this. Nice senton there. Chad Gable going to the outside, electing against whatever he was looking to do originally, and then coming back in, leaving Riddle some time to breathe. May have been what cost him. Riddle looking to get back into this here. Gable's trying to fight back, but there's Matt Riddle unloading some of that MMA background on Chad Gable. A nice kick from the bare feet of Riddle. That's going to hurt him possibly just as much, or maybe a little bit more than if there was a boot on there and another kick to the side of the head. And go to the well with what works, follows it up with yet another senton. Make it two, but went to the well too many times as Chad Gable got the knees up. Now look at this, what a move from Gable, just takes Riddle over. Man, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but this has got to be the best episode of Universe Mode that we've seen thus far as Gable with a Huracan Rana. We talked about them being versatile, but he has proven our words right. To the top where he goes with the mood salt. Chad Gable, I truly believe, is closing in on a victory. 
I mean, Riddle showed some signs of life, but Gable's once again back in control. This is all Chad Gable in this matchup thus far. Let me not speak too soon. Riddle. Knee sends Gable down. Kick to the gut again. Matt Riddle's going to try to slow things down here. Chad Gable's been the aggressor. And he's been doing it in a fast-paced way. Chad Gable's maybe down and out. Riddle, look at this. Down goes Gable. Into the cover. And he picks up the victory. Chad Gable controlled most of this matchup. But Matt Riddle hit where it hurts and hit where it mattered. And he was able to knock Chad Gable down just long enough to pick up the win. That was a great main event here on main event. Riddle going to extend the hand. You love to see it. Oh, wow. Chad Gable said he's not interested in a handshake. Just pushing Riddle's hand aside. But nonetheless, Matt Riddle picks up the victory here tonight on main event. And we will see you on Universe Mode Episode 5 for all. Priest vs. Hardy. Ali vs. Rollins. It's going to be a great night. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you on Universe Mode Episode 5.